No, no, I was I had to, I had to level my backyard. Oh, we we're having some water. We had some water coming in, so I had to like eye it up and see how I could divert the water. My family's really into that. My dad yeah. loves diverting water via landscaping. Really? Oh, dude, we yeah, our basement does, used to be gushing, dude. That is cool as hell. The dude. closest I've come is sandcastles, but that's always a very enjoyable moment when you dig out a little tunnel for the water. It's all the same thing, yes. dude. It's all the same thing. But yeah, he was. We were getting big time water in our basement, and he uh. He laid some landscape. He's really into like surveying where water's coming, and how to like block it away from a house. Yeah, that's nice. A lot goes into it. Controlling, I was, managing water. I like managing water in the shower. Let it run down my arm, and I point it at things. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> like a like a loogie, I spit on the fucking tub, yeah. and I'm like, you gotta get rid of that. <laughs> I keep it lower than this. <laughs> that's all. Right. It is. It's a force push. Yeah. Yeah. Sick move. <laughs> and I divert it. That's legendary. Mm-hmm. So fucking fun. That's my new move to anybody out there that wants to try to heckle me. Dude. You're getting hit with that. That's something you hear and you instantly want to steal. Do like, it. I could do that. You can yeah. do it. No, I'd you, be happy. That's, you, that's your bro. No, I'd like you to do it. Do you want to send? I'd like you can? to do. I think you. I don't know if I want you to do Hadouken, but I want you to do or just a, a fucking. No, I want you to do a. Uh, who's the Who's the Marvel guy that you liked? You're talking about uh, the you're talking guy about from Street Fighter. No, no, I'm talking in Doctor. Oh, Doctor Strange. Yeah, I want you to. <laughs> if someone starts tackling you, just hit him with like a. <laughs> Dude, sending a, a fireball, someone who's tackling you is the best. Yeah, like get to the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice if you spotted a guy kind of leaning on his chair. And hit him with that oh, <laughs> I mean, that would it'd be over. Dude, I no, might set up a plant and start sh- putting YouTube videos out about hadouking. And have, fall, like, have like a fake bad fall. Like, dude, that's crazy. Oh my god, guys, that's crazy. You yeah. should get. How much do you think it would cost to have security, like your own security at a comedy club, who would like fucking like scared, scared like jack people up, screaming people's faces, yeah, like fuck them up. Holy fuck, that'd be awesome. It'd be a couple. It'd be a few hunch. I could give a guy 50 bucks at most clubs. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. Dude, motherfuck this, dude. Yeah, Like, true. if somebody talks, get in their face and be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'll fuck your wife. I'll fuck your wife. <laughs> That'd be an easy fix. Yeah. Hit him with a couple of fucking, maybe a huger and like 50 bucks. <laughs> yeah, give him an Adderall. <laughs> give him a fucking huger. Give him an Adderall and be like, dude, go wild I'll on give everybody you $100 in and here. fucking 30 milligrams of Adderall <laughs> and keep this thing totally contained. <laughs> You seen girl making girls cry? Yeah. Shut up, you fucking bitch. You bitch. It has to be big enough to beat up anyone's boyfriend in the room. What are you gonna do, pussy? Shut up. Get like three of them, three giant dudes, Fuck, surround dude. a table. Just three major pains, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And rain <laughs> hell on anybody. <laughs> Somebody orders too loud, be like, boys. Get the fuck destroy out. this fucking guy <laughs> you could do this yeah not in any funny way though no yeah. no no no. like i don't i want to destroy hecklers without like wit or anything funny no just good comebacks force. just, just force. pure violence yeah. force. they don't kick him out they just stand around the table yeah. and eat his food and hoot yeah. at him oh, eat yeah. his food <laughs> jeer at his girlfriend yeah. big and, revolutionary war soldiers dude yes and never stop you have to give them quarters they, they will take quarters <laughs> <laughs> we'll sit down at your table and start eating <laughs> That would be, dude. I'm telling you, you could do this and run a very tight ship. Yeah, and people be they make yo, oh, chill with that. Like if they get caught with a phone, you fucking step on it. Yeah, I wonder how much it would cost to maybe rig up some type of pulley system. So if you did hit someone with a Hadouken, they flew to the back of the room, you know, what I mean? or elevate, levitated, and you force hold them. <laughs> you That's what this. I thought. Shut the fuck dude, up, dude. That would be so sick. <laughs> you, should, you should go to helium or wherever else. And, and come down like from like nine <laughs> feet from the ceiling on a cable. Because <laughs> <laughs> you could rig yourself up. Like if they start getting you mad, you start levitating. <laughs> if you if you were all black and they put you up in the ceiling and after the feature, like the host comes back out and you just slowly descend from seven feet. <laughs> You've been there the whole time. You've been up <laughs> You could do this, dude. <laughs> How dedicated well, are you? Be, I'd be so happy. What <laughs> would be so funny is if they noticed me during the fe- <laughs> during the feature set, just on the roof, like a bat, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to trick out the lighting so you can't be <laughs> descend slowly. Yeah. A true, a true vampiric entrance, dude. <laughs> 
Oh, fuck. Oh, there's so much sick shit you could do. Yeah, if you got pulled out and I was supposed to be levitating, but I was too heavy, so my feet just dragged. <laughs> You should be attached to pulley at all times yeah. and have like your one leg lift. <laughs> you, you should add like an aerial aspect to your show. Yeah. A little Cirque du Soleil just type. Fucking... <laughs> just occasionally like ride up a curtain. You could do this. This wouldn't be. Dude, I'm... you could do this. You know what would be tight is to run along the back wall at oh Helium real God. quick. <laughs> real crouching tiger out of nowhere. Just oh my pop God. Pop all your tippy toes. <laughs> Dude, that'd be so sick if you just jumped and just fucking levitated and came down. And never acknowledged it. <laughs> <laughs> just back to the show. I mean, how much were you talking to get a little crouching tiger action? Probably not that much. It's like, and then I was like, shut up, dad. And you just fucking ran along yeah. the walls. <laughs> Would you guys rather 69 your dad or get shot in the head? <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Fuck. Now man. that's a show. That's a show. I, you gotta. I want to get into showmanship, dude. You are a bit of a showman. You played the a played little, the flute. I'm I'm t I'm tipping my toes in the water. Yes. I pied piper myself out yeah. on stage. I That's actually was just talking to Matt or Chris about this. I, I'm getting too much into showmanship. What are you talking about? How, how's that Half impossible? my set. There's not even material. I'm just up there like, ah, have you guys heard of this? Have you thought of this? Have you even thought of it? Yeah, but it's <laughs> so keep, fun. It's fun, but it's so funny. To be, it's to gonna go, make for a bad hour. Nah, just you live should, this, it'll be fun. This next hour, you should go pure physical comedy, big energy, act out, demand a lot from the crowd. Yeah. I just want to demand more. I need the crowd to give me more, dude. Yeah. Dude, if you combine pulley <laughs> and flute, <laughs> you start playing and <laughs> elevated. <laughs> I mean, you could save now yourself. Now we're talking well, a show. <laughs> you could genuinely save yourself the trouble of developing material with just a little bit of fucking. Yeah, you can smash watermelons. True. Yeah. You can go through. I mean, I don't know his material. I'm sure it was. I might shove great. a watermelon up my ass. <laughs> Give birth. Uh, um, um, but yeah, dude. Wait, we kind of gleaned over this. Do you ever get worried if like a young kid sits on your lap? You're going to get a boner. Um, it's not like yes. Worried. I've worried about that before for sure. Yeah, but definitely I definitely think about I it. Think it's about like it. don't, yeah. don't right. get fucking because it's still pressure on your dick. Yeah, no matter what it is. True. I always want to adjust. Yeah. Yeah, especially when you have kids. You know, get kid like sitting on your lap constantly. It's like I, I wonder if people think about that. They're like, because they're right on your fucking jaw. Yeah, I mean. Dude. It's not yeah, even like it's, it's not, not like, every time. It's not every time I, know, I hold a kid. But it's I'm not like, like every time I pick up a kid, I'm not like, don't get fucking hard. Don't get I hard. I know don't what get I'm hard. saying. But like, yeah. it's the thoughts definitely occurred. You're like, that would suck if I got like a rager right now. <laughs> but it, it's got to be like, you know, if you have someone squirming around in your lap, that's just basic physics, dude. That's just dick skin and weight. Like, you know, so I don't know. I wonder if any, you know. any new dads <laughs> getting hard for your kids. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> that's just dick physics, dude. Kid just. Squirming around. Have squirming. you ever had an erection that you were unhappy that you had? Yeah, uh, for sure. Which one? Not, never really. Any church boner. Church, I kind of relish. I like getting like a push them against. When the I pew. kneel in church, I like to just sit there and rock and swing my balls around. That's always been my favorite thing to do. Just kind of like move my butt around on my. Balls I was tall enough at the time that the pew in front of me was right dick level. That's I not, could just mash it into that fucking thing. That's not bad. Yeah, that was nice. Or do like a little flip. That was like a, a fucking tuck method, yeah. groundbreaking discovery in grade school to learn how to. Fly. I used to always get boners right before recess. I would sit there and just go like, "What the fuck?" And I look up and like, "Oh my god, we're getting out of class in five minutes." It was crazy. Every time before, like I was about to get up in grade school, I'd get a boner. So, we actually had a thing in our grade school. We used to call it a. I forget. What, it was like the boner club or some dumb shit. But we would like. If you got a boner, you'd like stand up and like on gym day when people wore sweatpants and you'd stand up and like just flex your boner to the class and sit really? back down. Yeah. Oh, you were in all boys school. Oh, no, no, in grade school I was a boys oh, and girls. So you'd shit. stand up and like flex a boner and then like sit down and then like you were supposed to do it Jesus. when the teacher wasn't looking. And then we convinced the kid to like walk all the way to the uh, tissues to grab a napkin. And like when he was up there, we're like, Tommy, what are you doing? <laughs> you stand there with the boner. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. NRBs, yeah. dude. No reason boners. But yeah, I've definitely had some boners that I'm like, what the fuck? But I don't know. Though. More and more, it's like, I don't I don't get them like that. Yeah. Like if, I, if I get a boner, I'm like, sick, I got a fucking boner. Or now it's just like, you know, they're usually pretty appropriate. Yeah, you don't get NRBs anymore. The older you get, yeah. you rarely Once get Once you become it. an old dog, dude, you got to fucking, yeah, you got to shake this old dog to wake him up, dude. Yeah. It's... He's not just jumping around like he used to. Nope. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're taking voter pills. Uh, I took, <laughs> I've taken, uh, I only took it once. Well, twice. Two chews? Two blue chews. Nice. Fucking awesome. I'll give you one. I, d I have no need for it. Gerbin gets hard as fuck, dude. Yeah. It's, hard about, it's cats, not about dude. not getting hard. It's about getting harder, dude. Okay. It's the same reason you're jacked and drinking muscle milk still. You can only get more jacked. Okay. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
Damn, Gerben's fucking mogging you, dude. Gerben's dude, getting hard as all. fuck. Gerben gets about? hard as fuck, dude. What's I'll mog? Fuck you up. What's mog? <laughs> Mog's when you like to stand over someone and physically intimidate them. <laughs> <laughs> dude, if you think I'm intimidated by Gerbys right now. I'll buy it. His fucking, this thing's probably like Katana Steel, dude. <laughs> He's probably like a folded over samurai sword, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Gerben gets hard as a fucking nail. How hard were you when that cat kissed you seductively? I, I wasn't gauging degree hardness degree. It was Did you more jerk just off like, when oh the cat God, left? No, of course not. You promise? A hundred percent promise. I'm looking at you right in the eyes, telling you I did not masturbate. When, 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 like, how long transpired before you did masturbate after that? I don't know. How often do you masturbate? <laughs> Frequently. How frequent? How say, how often is that sink getting filled up? Dude? I'd say. Dude, how often do you need to go pray by for that plumber, dude? Oh. Six out of seven days a week. All right, that's fair. So yeah. that was your Sabbath. You de- you declared Sabbath when the cat gave you a boner. You're like, let me rest. Well, <laughs> it's very plausible that I had masturbated earlier in the day. True. Yeah. Maybe that's what was on your lip. Not the <laughs> Maybe some of that clear semen you couldn't see it. <laughs> All right. This, Gerbys, this has been a dirty episode. Normally, Gerbys isn't that. You're very, you're very honest, though. I appreciate that. Oh, I love Gerbys. Gerbys honestly. comes on just full on. I as... think that it, see, but that story to me is not nearly as bad as the as the one I told last time. Jesus, the one you told God. last time is haunting. <laughs> like, yeah, that was so. Funny. You got fucking catfished into sending a fucking porn to somebody. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, that was brutal. Yeah, it's tough stuff. I watched this video last night. Of this guy confronting a fat lady who catfished him. Yeah, it's pretty mean. She was like a fat, pretty clearly retarded lady. Mm. And she catfished him. And she catfished him, and he was in her apartment, like, filming her. And he was like, you're fucking ugly. Damn, you fucking dude. tricked me. Damn. And she's like, I didn't trick you. It was just clearly a very lonely lady. Yeah. I mean, what she did was wrong, but that you got you to gotta be able to be like, dude, all right, I forgive some, you. If some lady like that went through that much trouble to, like, somehow like, you ever speak me into you existence. Want yeah, dude, I'd fucking break her off. I'd be like, look, like, you got to stop fucking blowing me up and... Thanks for those sick beat sessions I had, pretending you were a hot chick. You did a good job putting off the yeah. illusion, but like, we'll fuck. And then, you know. You'd fu- you wouldn't fuck. You wouldn't fuck this lady. I might. You might take head, though. I mean, that's a given. Get head. I just don't close my eyes and take head, dude. No Gary, problem. did you get head that night? Um, Like, very, <laughs> very briefly. Just some courtesy head? Yeah. Some lubing it up head. Yeah. Nice. Because I was, yeah. Nice. Were you, sitting, were you sitting Indian style while you got it? <laughs> <laughs> what? First of all, I can't sit Indian style. You never sat Indian style and got hit? No. That's the best way to get hit. Is that so right? Never... <laughs> oh, dude, I want to talk about our Uber driver, dude. Me and Spud oh, got yeah, the right. inside track on how to get multiple wives in a Muslim household. Nice. Yo, this shit was fucking wild. Well, the dude was, the guy, we're, ta- we're talking Tinder. Of I'm, course. I'm talking Tinder with Spud. I'm like, yo, bro, you just you keep sending the message. My whole thing was like, is it on? <laughs> pay for unlimited. <laughs> pay for unlimited. Swipe as many times as you can. Spud, just... you look, you're a handsome dude. That's what I'm saying. Top of days. That's what I'm saying. Right, well, you got to well, follow up. That's what I'm saying. You got to follow up. Leg up. Get that leg fixed. Up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, get you out there. we'll get you out there. Turn that Frankenstein so, into Frankenstein, baby. <laughs> we're <laughs> we're talking. <laughs> we're talking Tinder. And dude, this guy, <laughs> we're no, talking we're... Tinder. All of a sudden, we see a big unibrow rise in the rear view mirror. It's the driver. He's got a big Count Chocula brow. Dude. He's got that Muslim brow. He was Muslim, bro. Yeah, dude. He fucking pops that brow up, and he was like, you got to be ruthless out there, bro. He starts talking. He was like, yo, I like, he's like, you ever fuck with older women, bro? He's like, I, he's like, when you're with an older woman, you just feel their pleasure more. <laughs> like, Spade just what? in the back, yeah, all the time. <laughs> Yeah, I fuck old and young. Dude, it was so You funny. name it, pretty he's much. Like, <laughs> he's driving. He's like, you guys know what I'm saying? Like, you just feel the pleasure. <laughs> like, All right, dude, I guess. Yeah, I don't Jesus. know. He's like, yo, we go down to AC. Oh, man, they're just so nice. You, they have, like, they're rich. You get, oh, man, you get what you just, look, I'm going to make you feel good. Just take care of me. Holy shit. So this guy's going, oh, we have to know this guy. You guys got Adam, him hard. Dude. You got yeah. him hard as fuck. We were in a car for about three minutes. Dude, this guy, okay. yeah, he comes right into it. We're like, what the fuck? And, like, you know, we're, we're telling him where we're going to paint. He's like, oh, man, I went to high school there, blah, blah, blah. And then he starts talking about how the fuck, oh, out of nowhere, he was just like, yeah, I'm married, by the way. And we're like, just talking about dogging 50-year-olds in Atlantic City. He was like. No, I said, 
I said <laughs> we were at, we were at State Road in Lansdowne, and I I was like, most of the girls that like me on the internet are moms. Yeah. And then he was like, they really appreciate it, and he started talking about the the. How he could somehow marry his wife's cousin, but explain that. Oh God! Yeah, well, we start talking about yeah. multiple. He starts. He brings up the thing of multiple. Oh, he was talking about his uncle. His uncle. She. She's trying to find. Yeah. It's her uncle. She's trying to find. Yep. A girl for him. His his first love. So his internet. wife's uncle is trying to reunite with his first love as his second wife, and they're sixty years old. What? what what's he's, she's <laughs> he's sixty, but she's fifty five. Yeah. What, what, yeah. What, I have to squat. What's going on? Nothing. What's up? What's up with the sidebar? Got a text. Be quiet That's about it. Be quiet about it. Okay. Christ, talk about so, multiple wives. Sorry, sorry to the listener. <laughs> sorry to the listener. <laughs> so we're talking about multiple wives. You're right. So the guy, <laughs> so this dude is, he's in the car telling us how his problem right now is his Wife wife's is uncle. Trying to- is trying to bone his first love, sixty-year-old married <laughs> but man. She's already married. He's already married. He's already married. And I was like, "How's he going to do that?" And she's like, "We're Muslims, so we can have more than one wife." And that's when we're like, you know, oh, up to four wives." Sick. Yeah, yeah, I worked so- with a guy who had three wives, Amir, and he was literally on the phone. Oh all my day. god! Oh my god! <laughs> can you imagine? He's like an Amazon control we center guy. He was, dude. That's why Muslims are so good. That's why Indians and Muslims are so good at phone centers, dude. Also, all they're dealing no. with so many wives. Also, like, hold, hold on, one second. I'll take your call. I have to speak to uh, the management now. <laughs> speak to a different wife. Just like I will put the dishes away when I get home as soon as possible. Hold on, one um, moment. Yes, please. I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> I have a hold on one second. I have to put you. <laughs> Yes, I did not forget to vacuum the steps as well. The steps are very difficult. One second, hold on. They will be extra. I know the uh, steps are your least have, favorite. Yes, we are very sorry for any inconvenience that may have caused. <laughs> dude, dude, so then he's, t- he's telling us this. We're like, what the fuck? This dude's 60. He's like, that's what I told her. It's forbidden because you need to get your wife's consent in order to get a second wife. And so then, you got to screen this to your wife. Now we're getting to meet. Getting the meat. The meat. Check this out. This so he's, he was like, I don't think it's hard to get Muslim women's consent as uh, a Muslim man hey, that you're married. Yeah. He, well, he's trying this. to paint the picture like it's even Steven, even though I was dying to be like, well, can your wife have an extra husband? But I, I was, I didn't want to rock this dude's world. You would get, he's he, would, he would crash the car immediately. Yeah. <laughs> he would, he would, that was the 